Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about the new card visual that you can find in the core visual gallery with the latest update of Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So this new card visual is in preview features. So first we need to activate that. To do this, I will go to the file. Option and setting and in option and setting, I will click on option. And here I will select preview features. And here you can see new card visual. So first you have to click on the checkbox and click OK and restart the Power BI desktop. So this is already enabled on my Power BI desktop, so I'll click cancel. So now let me go to demo page to add new card visual. And from your visual gallery, you will see here the new card visual. Just click to add on report page. So and from my data table. First KPI I will add. Sales amount, so here you can see sum of sales amount. I will add a one more time sales amount and I will from here I will make it average. So sum of sales amount and average of sales amount. Now I will add a order quantity. So here sum of order quantity. And I will add a one more time order quantity. And I will make it. Average of order quantity. And here I will add a customer. And I will say. Distinct count. So you can see my customer count. So you can see one card I have added a multiple majors. Now we will see the some formatting options. So first is the shape. So by default it is in the square. Right angular. So now. You can change. Round and from here. You can from here you can adjust. Round corner. So now if you can go, it will be the like, you know, more round and from here you can select a round corner. Now we have a last option. A snippet tab port top. So here you will find so many options. Let me enable a customize style. So if I enable a customize customize style, it will be again square bracket. Now, for example, if you want to like, you know, top left corner if you want some want to give some shape so now i have click so you can see the top corner is little bit like you know cut is tight by 20 percent and i want from my bottom right corner to be the same way so you can see here now it will be the different shape so this is about shape now let me go to catalog catalog. You can see so many options like you know here you can select if you want to format some particular card. You can select the wages from here and now it, if it will be selected all if I will make changes like you know center alignment. So it will be all that all the cards are center aligned values are center aligned. here. You can uh, like you know set the decimal places. And. Now you can also select the label from here so currently level is in black color if you want to make some changes in the color like let me make it dark blue so you can see the dark blue and and this like you know the this level is on the above values you can also if you want to bring it below values you just select the below value so your level will be on the below value Similarly, you can set like, you know, let me show you one more thing in the catalog. For example, I selected. Sum of total sales and I want to make it some different color. I can make it. OK, some different color. So let me choose a black. So you can you can set you can like, you know, you can do coloring or you can do anything with the like, you know, for each card. Now in the layout in layout is currently in horizontal 
And if you want a vertical, you can also make it a vertical. So it will be that like this. So let me and the grid is all grid option is also there. You can explore it later. So let me adjust that one. Now in the card. Again, you like, you know, you can select some majors like here. We will select sum of sales amount and I will feel a color. Something this one. OK, now here from here, you can also adjust the some color light transparency and now let me select a uh, average sales amount and I will make it like you know this color. OK, let me select sum of order quantity and I will make it light sky blue color. And now let me select average order quantity and I'll make it pink color and let last one customer count. So may I will make it some yellow color so you can like you know each card looks differently, but it is together. And this is about the card. You can explore other formatting. So here we are exhausted. Now let me go to the journal. In the journal, you can enable a title. In the title, like you know, I will say sales oblique and order KPI KPIs. OK, so here you can see the. Title you can increase decrease the font size. And let me align it to center. OK, now here you will see one more option subtitle. So in subtitle I will say. Average oblique. Total. And here I can also align it to center and I can change the color also. Let me make it red. And if you want to put a divider, you can put the divider also so you can see the divider here. You can change the divider color as well. OK. So in effect it will be like you know other visual also border and all this so here i will i will say some different color you know gray color or let me make it little darker gray color you can also enable a border for this whole visual and you can choose a border color as well so let me make it red so it's a red border color and you can also round off the corner. So. So let me reduce the size from both sides, then you will able to see. OK. And if you want to enable a shadow, you can enable a shadow as well. So this is very useful if you have a multiple major and you want to display. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.